Hey boys and girls, how's it going? This is Jesse and I want to welcome everyone to my YouTube channel, Kid Zone Artapalooza is where you guys are and I really do appreciate it. Uh, today we're going to be doing this really cool cat. We're going to be drawing this guy and then we're going to paint it. Uh, this came in as a request from 8 year old Daniela. Daniela, I want to say hello to you. Uh, you did an awesome job on that unicorn tutorial video from a few days ago. Your mom did send me your picture. And uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, Daniela followed along with this, or the video where I show you guys how to draw and paint this. So anyhow, Daniela, your mom sent me your picture and you did really awesome. So much so that I'm going to show it to everybody. Check that out. How cool is that? Yeah, you did awesome, Daniela. And I just want to thank you. Uh, I just want to let you know that I appreciate you coming on my channel and following along with me. Uh, keep practicing and you're only going to be getting better. Okay? Everybody, for today, all you guys really need is a pencil with an eraser on it, something to draw on. I'm going to be drawing on uh, this 8x10 and in 8x10 inch canvas like this one. But whatever you guys have at home will be just fine. Um, drawing paper, construction paper, cardboard, whatever it is that you guys have, that's what you're going to be using. I'm going to be painting the cat when I'm all done with the drawing part of it. I'll be using acrylic paint, but if you guys have crayons, if you guys have colored pencils, you guys have markers, whatever it is that you guys have at home, that's what you'll be using. And you guys actually don't have to paint it, of course. You don't have to color it in if you don't want. You can simply uh, draw it, and if you're done, if that's when you want to be done with, with the piece, that's up to you. So anyone, anyway, let's get ready <clears throat> to make this really cool cat. Yeah. Here we are. Okay, everyone, so here we are. Whoop, I'm sure we'll grab my little cup here. I'm sure I got this guy. Saves my throat. Okay, everyone, so got a little pencil right here. I'm gonna draw this little, little cat. See how we can draw this little cat. So just so that everybody knows, I'm gonna be drawing it first in pencil. I draw part of it and then I outline it. The reason why I outline it and I use this black marker to do it is so that you guys at home can see what I'm doing. You don't have to outline yours. That's up to you. You can if you want. But what you're gonna be following along with is what I do with my pencil. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I wasn't sure that I was recording or not. Anyhow, so again, um, I draw with this and then I outline with this, but I only outline so you guys can see what we're doing. All right, let's get moving here. So we got a little cat here. Anytime I draw something, whatever it is, I always look at the overall shape first. Well, what do we have here? If you look at the cat, Overall, we've got two almost circles. We've got the circle for the head and then the circle for the body. Okay, so that's where we're going to start. Going to start. We're going to draw the head first. Okay, when you draw your head, make sure you leave enough space for the body below it. Okay, so whatever you're drawing on, we're going to draw the head, which is a little bit bigger than the body. But we want to make sure that we leave enough space below it. Okay, so here we go. Big circle on top, almost like an oval shape. There we go. Don't be afraid to erase if you make a mistake on this step. No big deal if you have to erase. Let me grab a pencil with a better eraser. There we go. So I got this. Try to make a little circle here. So I'm just going to make a couple of adjustments to make it look more like a circle. There we go. Kind of like a circle. It doesn't have to be an exact circle. This is more like a more like an oval or like an egg shape. All right. So that is our head right there. Let me fix that. <clears throat> there we go. And then let me go ahead and outline that. So here's what I got. There we go. That's our little cat's head. Okay. Now we're going to do the body. Body's a little bit smaller than the head. So, but it's about the same shape. So there we go. Almost like we're doing a snowman. You know, a snowman has different uh, sections to it. And there we go. Let me outline that. There we go. Whoops. No too far there. That's okay. There we are. Okay. Next step. Got these little ears on top, which is basically triangles. Okay. You're just attaching a couple of triangles to the top of the head of your little cat like that. Okay. Some of your ears are going to be a little longer than mine. Some, are going to, some of them are going to be a little shorter than mine. That's okay. There's no right or wrong here. 
And on the inside, we do another couple of triangles. All right. Okay. So let me outline everything. Triangle, triangle, and then triangle again on the inside. There we go. Look at that. How cool is that? Very cool if I do say so myself. All right, next thing. We're going to draw this inside, uh, the white part of the inside of his of the kitty kitty's body. All you're doing is an, like an upside down U, or maybe or, or maybe it's more like an N, right? There we go, just like that. Let me go ahead and outline that. There we go. If I'm going too fast for any of you, just simply pause the video and then start it back up when you're caught up, okay? Um, just remember, you can always come back and watch this and do it, do it as many times as you want. Okay, so what we'd like to, what would we like to do next? Well, next I'd like to do his little front uh, legs and paws there. We're gonna start with the paws first, okay? We're gonna do this part right here, that little, little bump, bump, and then a little, it's almost like a, like a, like a W or an M. Here we go, an M, but you have an extra little segment, okay? So that's what I'm going to do first here. We're gonna do, here's our M, and I add one more leg to it, okay? I'm gonna come over to the side. Well, let me, actually, let me outline that first. So here's our M. And there's an M right there, right? Almost. And then I just add another little part to it. I'll come over here and do the same thing. I do an M, right, almost. And then I come in and add one more of those little segments. There we go. Now, we're gonna do our little, our little, our legs. All we're doing is a little line like that. And another one over here, okay? We do the same thing over here. There we go, and there we go. There's our little cat's legs. Let me straighten those out a little bit. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> All right, how's that looking right there? Okay, again, if I'm going too fast, simply pause and start it back up when you are caught up. What's next? Well, let's do his eyes. Let's do our cat's eyes. So we've got two big circles, two big circles, right? So I'm gonna start with the one on the right. And your eyes can be as big as you'd like them to be or maybe you wanna make yours smaller. Up to you, okay? Remember, if you need to make any little adjustments, don't be afraid to, to erase. No big deal if you have to erase and start over again on your eyeballs. All right, there's one. And then over to the left, we've got another one. Look at that. Look at that. All right. <clears throat> Let me outline those. There we go. And there we go. All right. Little adjustments. Okay, looks like my right eye is a little bit bigger than my left eye. That's okay. I can make a little adjustment here. Later on with the pen, with the paint, when I fill them in, I can make adjustments to that. I'm also going to go ahead and do my little circles in here. My little, uh, these are little light reflections on the eyeballs. The one on the left is a little bigger than the one on the right. So in other words, this one here is bigger than that one. That one's here. That one there is bigger than that one. Okay. So let me outline those. Go. There we go. Okay. Now, we got a little nose, right? We got a little nose right here. So that little nose is like an upside down triangle, right? Looks just like a triangle, but flipped upside down. So right about between the middle of my eyes, I'm gonna make just that a little upside down triangle, just like that. Check that out. Okay. Of course, I'm gonna outline that. Look at that. Look at that. Bam, just like that. Now, I'm gonna draw this little part of the mouth. Right here, right? This is like a like a big W. So here, watch this. Okay. Isn't that just like a W, right? So, just like this. There we go, look at that, look at that. And then we got the little tongue. For the little tongue, all you have to do is is a U. I'm not going to use a pencil for this part of it. I'm just going to go ahead and go right to the marker. Okay? A U. All you're doing is a little U. And then you can even add the little line down the middle, which I noticed I don't have right here, so I'm going to go ahead and add that like that. Forgot that on the original. Okay, cool. We got these little eyebrows. It's like little curves over the top of the eyes. 
See, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. <clears throat> okay. Then we have whiskers. We have these little whiskers. Okay, so let's do those little whiskers. I'm going to do three on each side. One, two, three. One, two, and three. And then we can even do, we do those little dots in there. Little dots on his, <clears throat> on, on uh, right there next to the whiskers. Okay, what is left? Well, a couple of things. One of them, though, is our tail. Okay, the tail, here's what you want to do. I would start right here at the top, come down, make a line that goes like this, curve it, and then attach it to the cat's body, okay? I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing, but watch. I'm gonna start right here. I'm not gonna attach the, the lines yet. I'm gonna come down, go like, whoops, like this, and attach that too. Look at that. And now I'm gonna attach these together, all right? Okay, look at that. There's our tail. What's missing? We got our little stripes. Our little kitten has these little stripes, right? So all these guys are our little triangles. We're attaching little triangles to the side of the head, the tail, and the body. So here we go. You can make as many as you want, right? Everybody's cat can have a different amount of these little stripes, okay? So all we're doing is that. Look at that. Triangle, triangle. Another triangle, different size triangles. Okay, we're gonna add some. So we're gonna add some to the top of his head, just like this one here. We'll start right here in the middle. Look at that triangle, triangle. Look at that. Okay, come over to this side. And we're gonna add some more over here, like this, like this, and like that. Come over to the other side, do the same thing. Triangle, triangle. Again, everybody's kitty is going to have a different amount of triangles. Oh, forgot the tail. So let's do that too. So triangle, triangle. Oh, we got to make them on both sides, right? There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Are we forgetting anything? No, I think we got it all. We got the eyebrows, we got the eyes, we got the nose, the mouth, the tongue, and the whiskers. We got his little paws, uh, we have his little ears and everything else. Oh, I know what we're forgetting. What about the ground below? Yeah, he's got to be standing on his little green grass. So all we're going to do is that, and then later on we'll color that in. So there we go, boys and girls. Check that out. Wasn't too bad, right? So in a moment, I'm going to get my paints and everything ready to paint it. Um, so... For now, what you want to do is simply make sure you've got everything that I've got here. You know, make sure you've got all that to this step here. And then we're going to color it, paint it. Um, again, whether you got crayons, markers, uh, colored pencils, whatever it is that you got at home, that's what you're going to be using. But that's what we're going to be doing here next. I'm going to put this on pause for just a moment. You guys, for you guys, it'll be like the blink of an eye. But I will be right back after I've got all my stuff ready. Okay, boys and girls, I'm back. So I got my paints ready. These are the colors that I'm going to be using. I've got some red, I've got a little bit of yellow, some pink, brown, uh, kind of a light brown, then a darker brown. I've got some black, some white, and some green. You guys will be using whatever colors you have at home, right? You don't have to match up the colors that I've got. If you want a different colored cat, that's up to you. If you want a different colored floor, different colored eyes, et cetera, et cetera, that is all up to you, okay? I'm only guiding you along um, and just recreating the same piece that I made over here. But it's not necessary that you guys color or use the same colors as I do, okay? <clears throat> so just keep that in mind. Everybody's little cat's gonna look a little different, so, so yeah. And then um, for those of you parents that are watching and are interested in knowing what kind of brushes I'll be using, I get these little um, relatively cheap brushes. There's a lot more of them. Um, this is just a few that I have left in the pack. Um, but something like this, a pack of like seven, eight brushes probably would run you 10, 12 bucks. And as long as you clean them regularly after every use, they'll last you a really long time. So also the paints that I'm using are acrylic. For those of you that are familiar with acrylic paint, it's a really fast drying paint. Um, really good really bright uh, so 
that's what I use. But again, whatever you guys have at home will be just fine. So what I would like to do first is paint our kitty. Sorry, paint the outside of our kitty. And what I'm going to use, I've got a, I know this one's blue. It's not the same color as the one that I, that I just showed you, but it's basically the same, same kind of brush. Uh, I'm going to be grabbing some yellow. My cat's going to be yellow in this case. So I've got some yellow. I've actually got a little bit of red. Actually, let's make it orange. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of red, mix it with my yellow. It's going to make it orange. It's a little tiny bit. If you guys want to make your cat simply, you know, a yellow cat, that's fine. That'll work. So here I go. I'm going to mix enough of this so that I don't run out. Mix plenty of this color. All right, here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to be working a little quickly. Don't worry about it at home. Remember, you guys can always pause this. I'm going to paint all the inside of the cat's head. But I'm going to avoid the little yellow. These little, the little, these guys here, right? These little triangle things that we made for the stripes. I'm going to avoid those areas. I'm also going to avoid the, the inside of the eyes and my nose. So I'm going to color, I'm going to color it everything that would be the fur at this point, other than the, the little triangles. Okay, so I'm just using my brush to work around all these little areas. If you guys are using crayons or markers, etc., just, you know, stay with it, stay on the inside of the lines, you know, just like we do with a coloring book, you don't want to go outside the lines. We want to try not to, no big deal if you didn't. Here on the whiskers, I've got my, um, since I outlined them in black, I can still see them through the paint, so I just paint right over the whiskers. No big deal. Later on, I'll come in if I need to and um, touch those up in black once again. Same thing with my eyebrows. No big deal if I color those in a bit because I can always come in and touch those up again. <clears throat> so here we go, just like that, all the way around. There we go. Look at that. Looking pretty cool. Okay, so again, I do all the part of the head. Work my way all the way around. Kind of like that. The cool thing about acrylic paint is that <clears throat> you can always layer it. The more layers you add, the stronger the color gets, the brighter uh, the cat gets. Okay, the, the, the brighter whatever it is that your coloring gets, the more intense the color becomes. So I've done the head, now we're gonna do that body. So same thing, all this in here is white. Except for the legs, right? The legs are going to be this orange color that I, that I made. But first, I'm going, to, I'm going to do the upper part of the body. Again, avoiding my little triangles. Those are going to be brown. Just like that, all the way around. All right. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Down. Here we go. All the way around, just like that. Cool. All right. Just like that, okay? Whoops, I missed a few little spots there. Okay, don't forget, guys. Don't forget, boys and girls. Leave me your comments below, your requests, right? I like to, I like to hear what you guys have to say about my channel. I'd like to hear what you guys think, what your ideas are. Oh, I know what I forgot. Some of you may have already caught this. I didn't do the ears, right? So I'm only doing the edges of my ears. The insides are going to be going to be pink. But anyway, don't forget to leave me your requests. Leave me your comments. If you guys like my channel, please do subscribe to it. Also, like this video. It helps me. It helps my channel to grow. The more my channel grows, the more of these videos I can make. I'm going to try to make at least one video a week, but if I can make more, I will. So uh, I do have uh, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, sorry, Super Mario coming up. I'll be doing a video tutorial on that. I'm hoping to have that up uh, this weekend as well. But anyhow, the more interaction I get from you guys, the more videos I will make. So please let me know what you guys think in the comments. Send me your requests. You guys can email me your pictures at paintingwithjesse at gmail.com. Okay. Uh, don't you guys don't email them. Tell your parent. Ask your parents to do that for you. Okay. All right. So we go. Oh, I know what I forgot. I forgot the tail. But I'm going to switch to a smaller brush for for that because the tail is kind of small. 
I'm going to switch over to a little bit of a smaller brush so I can get in between all these little spots on my tail. If you guys are using markers or crayons, this should be relatively easy. If you guys are painting, it can be painting can be a little trickier, right? Make sure you're using small enough, the right size brush for whatever it is that you're painting on. Oh, and I also forgot this right here. Those legs and those paws. There we go. Like that. And then like that. Come over. Like that. Okay. All right, all right, look at that. Okay, let's do his tongue. His tongue is going to be red. Oh, maybe, well, my, my cat's a he. Uh, maybe yours is a she. <clears throat> Up to you. You can also name your cat. Oh, if you guys, if you guys name your cat, I'd love to know what you named it. Okay, let me know what you named your cat. I'm not sure what I'm going to name mine yet. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it Oliver. My sister has a cat. Uh, named Oliver. It looks just like this. Maybe I'll put a picture of Oliver also. I don't know, but yeah, Oliver. That's what we're going to call my cat. Oliver. All right, so there's the tongue. Now I'm going to do the nose. I've got a little bit of pink, just like on that original. I'm using a little small brush. You come in and color that in in pink. Look at that. Hopefully you guys are having fun here. I like, I like having you guys here. It, uh, it's fun for me, and, um, you know, I hope that you guys are having fun with me, too. Oh, I just noticed that my battery is getting a little low, so let me pause this for a second while I attach my charger. Okay, there we go. Woo, that was close. Almost ran out of charge, and my phone would have shut off. That would have been no good. Okay, so he has a little tongue, got his little nose. Oh, we're also going to do the ears, right? Since we're working with pink right now, we can do the inside of those ears. There we go. Anyway, I was saying how much I enjoy having you guys coming and painting with me. It makes me super happy. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having fun with me. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. So again, comment section below. If you guys have something you'd like for me to do in the future, I'd love to hear from you. So there's the ears. Now, I'm gonna use the same little brush and I'm going to take some brown, this dark brown that I've got right here. And I'm going to do the little stripes, the little, they're actually triangles, right? But they're supposed to be stripes, like on a kitty. Well, some little cats have these little markings, right? These little, maybe they're not stripes. Maybe the correct word is markings. So there we go. These little brown markings are all getting this treatment in brown. Just like that. Look at that. Okay, all the way around. Down and over. Do the body also. Like that. All right. Here, the tail, we can't forget the tail. All right, look at that. What's left? Wow. We can also do a little bit of brown on the eyebrows. There we go. And on this other side, there we go. Look at that. And I'm gonna do black. The eyeballs are black, right? The inside of those eyes. Oh, I was about to say, I think I forgot to Put black on my plate but there it is so here we go i'm going to grab my little brush take some black over here all the way around just, just like that look at that we'll do the same thing to the other eye like this all the way around. We're gonna go around our little, our little um, little reflections that we made earlier when we drew it. Okay, let's go around all that. Check this out, guys. If you're painting or you're drawing, <clears throat> you want to stabilize your 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 drawing hand or your painting hand. 
You can take your other arm, the one that you're not painting with, set it down on your table or on the easel like this. I'll set it on the table and then I put my drawing hand over it. And look at this. It stabilizes, makes my hand easier to work with. My, my uh, hand doesn't shake as much. Okay? So that's a little trick right there. Look at that. Okay. Now, I have some white on my plate. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. Even though the canvas is already white, <clears throat> right? The canvas is white. And I really don't have to do this step because it's like on here, right? It's white. The inside of those, those eyes are white. We don't have to do this step. However, if you have some white paint, like I do, or wh white crayons or white markers, etc., probably a good idea to come in and do this because you can tell up close that it's not painted. You, can, you would be able to tell that it's simply uh, the white background coming through because it doesn't have the same, um, the same reflective quality as the paint, as the paint does, right? The paint's a little shiny, so this part of your painting or drawing wouldn't look as shiny as the rest of it does. It is actually painted. So you can leave this white if you want, the canvas color, or you can, or if you have some white paint markers, etc., you can go ahead and fill that in white. I'm going to do the same thing here on the eyes. Okay, just like that. I'll come over here and do these eyes also. Okay, there we go. Cool. Now, I'm going to take some, so I'm going to take, so the only thing that's really left is the ground, the floor, right? I'm going to take this big, this big brush. I have this green right here and I might run out of it, so I, I might have to pour more, but I'm, I'm going to take this green and I'm going to do this. Go around the bottom of my cat. Come across like this. Go like that. And come across. There we go. Look at that. So I got, got ourselves pretty green grass. Mine's grass. I don't know about yours. Maybe yours is green carpet. Up to you. I got this really nice green grass underneath. There we go. Now, you guys, some of you guys may, may be noticing that there's some differences here. Like, for example, the, the head on this little cat's a little rounder than this one. The ears are a little pointier. Um, the tail is skinnier at the base. Even the ground is higher, right? This ground is a lot higher than this one. That's okay. It's no big deal. Whenever you guys are drawing and painting along with me, um, you're going to see that. Your paintings, your your um, art pieces aren't going to come out exactly like mine. That's not necessarily the idea, right? The idea isn't to create something that looks just like mine, but it's to create something unique that is yours and that you'll enjoy doing. You know, that, that you'll um, be able to enjoy putting up on your wall or showing it to your friends, showing it to your family, etc. So again, all I'm trying to say is if yours doesn't look just like mine, don't worry about it. Um, as long as you like it, that's all that matters. Remember also that if you want, you can always come back and watch this video again. You can always practice and do this as much, do this, any particular video on the channel as many times as you would like, okay? So if you, you know, want to practice, please do come back, watch these videos again. That's the end of our little kitty cat tutorial. Once again, I want to thank Daniela for having requested this. I had a lot of fun doing it. Hopefully you guys did as well. Uh, I will see you guys all here very soon. Please, once again, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be making many, many more videos in the future, but I do need your support to uh, helping me um, promote the channel by liking and subscribing. I'll give you hats off to your awesome efforts. Please don't forget to send me pictures. I'd love to see what you guys do. Um, comments, etc., etc. below. You can email me your pictures at paintingwithjesse at gmail.com. All right, everybody. See you guys all here uh, very soon. Bye-bye.